today we have decided to come back to Sorrento to catch the ferry to Positano um, for a day late by the pool. But first, the only way to get down the big cliff top is to come down a series of ramps. And they're pretty steep and I'm wearing flip flops, so I'm trying to be extra careful. But we can see the ferry port ahead. Um, so we just need to work out which one we need to get on and hopefully it'll be a really nice cool ferry over. It's really hot today so I'm kind of dreading sunbathing but hopefully we'll get some really nice weather and some lovely views of Positano. It's meant to be the most beautiful place on the Amalfi Coast so I'm so excited for that. I've now got my favourite purchase of the holiday. Much needed. I've been looking for the, one of these for days. Don't get me wrong, buying it at the port it was probably cheaper to buy it in the town but much needed there was no way I was getting on the boat without one we've got our tickets now they were 36 euros for the return on the speedy ferry so we're going out at 11 o'clock and we're coming back at half four um, and then I think we're gonna have <clears throat> I think we're gonna have dinner in the hotel restaurant tonight I'm just trying to find Jody now because I popped in the shop I actually think Jodie's trying to kill me with this restaurant. We've done so many stairs this holiday. And she's found a nice restaurant. However, this is the end of the stairs. I've already done probably 150 stairs in the seat. How oh, great, there's more stairs. You'll notice the hair is up now. It was too hot walking up them steps, but we have come to Cafe Positano to get some pasta for lunch. It's quite early for lunch compared to what yeah. we've been having, but we're both starving. So we're gonna get lunch and then go and somewhere down on the beach. Or shade bathe actually, because there is no sun currently. <laughs> Lunch has arrived and it looks incredible. That was by far the best food I've had all holiday. That pasta was incredible. Like 10 out of 10, amazing. Would eat it again in a heartbeat. We have now decided to walk back down the roadway so we can see the little shops on the way down. The view is still incredible the whole way down. And there's no steps so my feet are happy. I was going to say, the sun is starting to it come is. out, so we well, might actually get to sunbathe. <laughs> hmm? Then we got attacked by a pigeon. Hopefully that was on camera. Um, so, I, we have been seeing something the whole holiday that I've really wanted to get. I have got lemon sorbet in a lemon and it is amazing it's so refreshing so nice honestly so good can't wait to eat this we're just getting to the beach now we're just going to find somewhere to sit down somewhere in the shade or with a bit of shade that's going to be interesting to find at this time of day the sun is now out and burning it's very hot ignore my little shade canopy but we've made it to the beach and we got our sunbeds quite expensive sunbeds 35 euros each and we're only actually going to get to use them for 
three hours Under. if we're lucky but it's okay because we want to go in the water so we had to pay to get access to the beach the rest of the beach is for residents only so it's cornered off um so it's fine it is what it is but we're just gonna get enjoy the sun it is absolutely sweltering though thank god for this little shade enjoy the sun and enjoy the water the main reason that i brought the gopro is so i could come in the sea and it is so nice i don't think i've ever been in the sea and it's been so warm it's really refreshing jody has got her phone so she's a little bit more shallow than me but i'm slowly going out of my depth So refreshing, so nice to be in the water. For once, unlike the British Sea, not cold, it is worth the 35 euros just for this. Although, don't come any closer because I'm out of my bed. <laughs> taking a break for a minute and come to the shallow a bit mainly so I could talk because it's much easier but honestly so nice I've never swam in the sea in the UK I swam a swam a couple of times oh so I'm taken back by the way but it's just not enjoyable the sea's freezing cold it's all sandy you get seaweed right under your feet this is a pebbly beach which is fine and it's like a black pebbly sand so it's absolutely fine but the water <laughs> is actually refreshing don't laugh at me nearly falling over literally the waves are quite strong they're tipping me back but Honestly, so nice. Worth this five euros just for For someone that can barely swim, I'm spending a lot of time out here. But the waves keep getting me. It's so nice to be able to swim in the sea and not be freezing cold. I think she was just too sunbathing, but I got way too hot, so I'd rather come in here and cool down. I'll try and show you Jessie, but she's all the way, the little head bobbing in the distance. <laughs> oh, she's giving us a wave. That's easy. <laughs> she's still there. <laughs> she's way out of her depth, but I'm like, just about keeping afloat here. When you think you're done with steps for the day and then this happens all the way up the top there we're going you're gonna have to excuse the state of me because that's all you're getting because i am hot and sweaty we've just got off the ferry back from sorrento the uh, back from sorrento back from Positano. you can tell i'm knackered that ferry was something else entirely absolute chaos it was like 20 minutes late everyone just pushed to get on there was no order nothing we queued for over 25 minutes in the blazing sun waiting for it as well which isn't ideal so we've just got up and got back into sorrento we are going to get dinner soon but we're going to get some ice cream first because we're both swell so this is a huge lemon i got kinder and hazelnut in the price as well what yeah six time. euros so cheaper than what i paid in this time however i have realized the lemon is not hollowed out so i've probably got a really weird choice to be in with the lemon zingy zingy kinder <laughs> yeah. gonna be an Ooh. interesting we're not really starving for dinner tonight but we need something before we get back to the hotel so we have got sandwiches from a little sandwich shop that was really cute i have got salami and cheese and then I've got a very exciting dessert, Rob's favourite dessert in the world. But this is a bit weird, it has salad in, but they've heated it up. So I'm not sure how that's going to taste. A little bit weird having warm lettuce, but I'm sure it's a thing. Oh. Wow. One thing I will say though, the roll is now very, very crunchy. Yeah. It's kind of like a French stick, like a crusty French stick. So it's a, taking a little bit to bite through. It'd be really nice. So we're gonna sit. We're at, sat outside the train station. Just gonna enjoy this, and then get on the train back to Vico and Quenza. I can remember the name for like the first time. Little shuttle back to the hotel. Then we're gonna sit and watch the sunset at the hotel and dress up a little bit nicer than this because I can't look like a boiled egg for the rest of the day. You're gonna have to deal with me still looking like an egg. 
but we're back at the hotel now. We came back to watch the sunset. The shuttle was a bit late from the train station, so we just about made the sunset. So literally chucked on a nice dress to get a nice picture. So if you've seen the Instagram, you already have seen this dress. Um, but we literally watched the sunset, and now we're just sat having a drink at the hotel bar. Love the atmosphere here. You can probably hear the radio in the background um, playing music, playing Kate Bush a minute ago. Very, very choice of music here. But I've just got a Coke, nothing exciting. But we're just sat here enjoying the evening, looking at holiday snaps. And then tomorrow we'll just have another relaxing day. But we're just going to sit here, have a couple of drinks, and then go up to the room. And when I get to the room, I can show you what I got today. Nothing exciting. I got um, a gift from my mum. A gift for my nan, as usual, if you've seen the vlogs before, you will know I always get a gift for my nan, no matter where I go. And a little something for myself, um, which wasn't my fan, my 10 euro fan, that I will confess I spent 10 euros on a fan, um, wasn't in it. But it's been an amazing day today, but I still haven't washed my hair, so my hair is full of salt water. Hence why I look like this and don't have any makeup on. We did not have time this evening, but it was worth it just to get the pictures in the sunset. But yeah, just going to relax and then I'll show you what I've got when we get back to the room. Before I pack everything away, I'll give you a quick roundup of what I got because we need to pack our suitcases because we go home tomorrow, which is like the saddest thing ever. Where has the five days gone, gone so quickly? So, uh, first thing I bought was two bookmarks, one for my mum and one for my dad. They won't watch this, so, well, they won't watch this before they get them, so one each for them. I also got my mum something else. So my mom ha is always the person that when you go to the shop has a reusable bag and I'm always the person that doesn't have a reusable bag. So I always borrow hers and I'm not gonna lie, sorry mum, but I never give them back to you. So I bought her a replacement for probably about the six I've stolen and it's got lemons on, it's so cute. So this is for her. I also got myself kind of matching, but not quite matching, like a little zip bag this is mainly for when i use my pink drawstring bag that i've been using um it's obviously got lots of holes in because it's netting but everything all my personal stuff is in like a drawstring bag on the inside but keeps falling out so this is for in there so i can zip it all up i'll probably chuck my passport and everything in there for tomorrow so it's easy to find i got from the other day where's my face to get it out of the way a sorrento magnet for me and Rob to go on the fridge at home. And then the last thing I got is for my Nan. So I get my Nan a gift wherever I go. So I got her, cover my face so you can see it, a little Sorrento bell that says Sorrento on the back. I would normally get her a thimble or a cat or a soft toy in recent years, but actually I think she'll really like this. And she's got a glass cabinet full of crystals at home. So I think it will go in there. I haven't bought Rob anything because honestly he'll say, why did you buy me that tat? He doesn't need it. So I'll buy him something at the airport. That's what I normally do, get him chocolate or duty free or something. But that is everything I've got from the holiday plus my fan. And now we've got the hard job of packing everything into our suitcase. Our suitcase with three wheels as well that we did forget to buy Superglyph for. So we're just gonna have to hope we can push it. It's not too far. We've only got to get from the hotel onto the shuttle bus, up the steps in the train station. That should be easy, there's only a couple of steps. The worst bit is gonna be when we get to Naples. Naples there is a big flight of stairs and we're probably gonna to have to carry it between us. But if that's the only time we have to carry it, it's easy. Once it's checked in, they can have it, we don't need it. So that'd be nice and easy. But if you've liked this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And next week will be my last vlog from Italy. So tomorrow we are planning just have half beach day, half pool day. We actually don't fly home till tomorrow night, but obviously we check out in the morning. So it's a day of swimming and enjoying the sun. I've only caught the sun like a little bit today. I'm not too burnt. I don't really want to go home more burnt, but I would like to get a bit more of a tan so you can actually tell I've been abroad. It's very sad, it's the last day. So we've just come down for our last breakfast before we go home. And yesterday was good, it was a buffet breakfast, same again today. So I'm gonna go and get some bits and pieces and fill up on that. Um, and then we are gonna hopefully make it in time to get the shuttle down to the beach this morning so we can enjoy the beach one last time and have another swim in the First round of breakfast, watermelon, salami, bread roll, and a yogurt, and a mystery juice. None of the juices are labeled, so not sure what it is. I'm gonna guess pineapple by the color, but I'm not so sure. We've come down to the beach and this beach is a lot busier. 
than I thought it was going to be. There's loads and loads of little kids playing in the sea, but it's really nice to see. We've got some sunbirds. I love that they've got the little bits on top. So keeping my head out of the sun, but I am trying to get a tan on my legs slash burn. So let's be honest, I just go a different shade of red. Um, but yeah, gonna go enjoy the sea. Don't know if I can take the GoPro in today because there are a lot of people in there. But we'll see if I can get some footage. But just gonna spend the morning here. Annoyingly, the shuttle doesn't run in the afternoon, so we're gonna have to go back to the hotel at lunchtime, but that's fine. We can spend the afternoon by the pool um, before we need to head back about four o'clock today for our flight. Beach time is coming to an end. It's nearly time to get the shuttle back to the hotel. Um, I've just had a nice lolly and a Coke Zero, but I'm the worst vlogger in the world and forgot to film it. However, the ice lolly I had for all you Australian was, looks like, I don't know if you can see it there, there we go. It was like a golden gay time on the outside, but the inside was like the cherry of a cherry ripe, so like the best combination. So for me, really, really happy, really nice. But it's getting a bit hot here anyway, so it'd be nice to go back to the hotel pool and we can sit in some shade there. But it's a bit sad to be leaving the sea because actually it's the first time I've enjoyed swimming in the sea ever. But need to get dressed and then walk back. We're hoping the shuttle driver is actually going to pick us up. So when we told him about the times, he said, no, 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 there's not one at 12.15. And we were like, no, 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 the paper we were given says 12.15. So he's, he sort of said yes, but he also doesn't really understand English. So we're not really sure what happened. Like, yeah. Rather than an actual confirmation. Yeah, he didn't really give us confirmation he'll be there. However, there are no taxis, so if he doesn't turn up, we do have a little bit of a problem. A very big problem. Yeah, we have quite a big problem. We'd probably have to ring the hotel and ask for our lovely cleaner friend to come and pick us up again. <laughs> Which wouldn't be the worst thing because actually she got us there very speedy. But nothing can beat the air conditioned bus. The bus is actually quite refreshing. So we're at the airport, obviously now. Um, we are through security, but just as my luck always is, every time I've flown on my own lately or with someone, we are delayed. We were meant to take off at 8.20. It is now 8.20 and we're still sat here on the ground. We're not due now to go to 9.45, which is a bit of a pain because it just means another late night drive home from Luton. I should be really getting used to this now because I've done it a fair few times. But actually this airport isn't too bad. I have done, God, the bag looks really full. This looks really bad. I have done some duty-free shopping. This brand, Wycon, this, it's like a skincare makeup brand, never seen it before. I'm assuming it's Italian because we have seen quite a few shops. Um, I got myself some skincare and I did get something for my sister as well. Um, and then a couple of bits and pieces, got Rob some chocolate in duty-free, some pistachio chocolate for him to try. Um, and then I've just got crisps and a drink for dinner. I'm not really hungry. I'm kind of over it at this stage. Frustratingly here though, McDonald's is the other side. So it's before you go through security. If we'd known we were going to be delayed, we would have had time to have a McDonald's, but we we're so worried about getting through security on time that we went through. Only as soon as we got through to duty free to find out that we're delayed, which is rubbish, but what can you do? So we're just going to sit here relax and wait for our flight hopefully it doesn't have what happens today isn't what happened to me in portugal and it doesn't keep getting delayed i'm hoping it's just a flight coming in and going straight back out to luton but on the board here at naples every single flight is delayed tonight it's not a single flight on time which is not great and from what we've heard from feedback from other people that is really common here which is not great at all um, but yeah, it's going to be a late one home. We land just before midnight, so I'm probably not going to get home till 2, 2.30 a.m. I've got a really busy day tomorrow. It's my nan's 80th birthday on Saturday, so I've got to make her birthday cakes tomorrow. So I need to get home and get a good night's sleep because I've got a lot of baking to do tomorrow.